Good afternoon, everybody. Quarter final action. Chris Day, Shane Thompson, first to seven. Cole Ballistic Bedford, as we've been calling him all weekend, joining in 50 minutes. He wanted to commentate on Shane Thompson. Not so sure why. Because me and Shane are mates, so I thought it would be a good game for me to commentate on. I can be very fair Are for you going both players. to be nice? Yeah. yeah, I will. As nice as I can be. So not very... <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, should be a good match this. I think Chris has just beat my roommate, Dave McNamara. So, yeah, you obviously got to the Pro 9 final, so he must be playing well. Yeah, I did that match. Seven frames to three. Not much went DG's way in the game, but Chris was clinical and went up a couple of gears towards the end and took out two finishes that sort of sealed Dave's fate. Holly Bale also about to get underway against our fan dad. Over on table number three. He's gone wrong here early on. I think he's flipped the wrong side of the yellow and blocked it for the red. So now he's got to find a good positional shot here and then find a cannon for the red and yellow that are together. So he might put the anchors on, but it does look like he's going to keep going for it. Oh, he's played that well. Oh, has he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, he hit it, w hit it well enough. Yeah, I think he's running out of time here is the issue. I think he's got to drop this in off the one rail. Try land just past the blue spot, well, to the left of the blue spot and cut the red in next to the yellow with side to try and knock the red out. So this is a low percentage finish now, I'd say. It's an even lower percentage finish now because I think he's too thin on it. Wow. Has he got a double? Du yeah, I was about to say, this. I'm playing the double all... I love these doubles, so I'm playing this double all day long. Yeah, <laughs> you did a few in your demolition job yeah. earlier this weekend, didn't you? Yes, yeah. You've had a a very mixed weekend, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. I've say. You've di been dishing them out, and then you've been on the receiving end yeah. as well. Oh, my God, he's miles away. Yeah, the harder you play him, the, the more they check squares, up. Yeah. Well, Chris in his last game against Deeds was very good at judging the double so I'm surprised by the margin yeah. he did miss the double first look at Shane Thompson then yeah yeah well, first look in open play, anyway. Yeah. Not something you ever really want to look at, Shane, but... <laughs> 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 Bless him. Yeah. He's struggled a little bit this year. I didn't realise this is... Oh. Is, is he meant to play safe there? Quite possibly. Yeah. Only Shane will know, but went very, very close yeah, if he I was. Think, I think... Has he not left the angle, though, to stun it in and play the skilly? I might be wrong, but... I think not, sh not sure how straight Chris is on this. I didn't realise this is another camera. Shane's first quarterfinal of the year in the Pro Series. Didn't realise that. Give me a second. That's what Luke Terry told me anyway. So well, Luke does know his stuff. Yeah. Oh, he's missed that by a long way. Unfortunately, with the 96 players, we now just put it on our phone because yeah. carrying around 100 pieces of paper... Would be hard work. Yeah, it is hard work. And uh, no, Luke Terry is incorrect. Sorry, Luke. Oh. He had a semi-final in event number four this year, oh, losing out to Tom Cousins. And oh, actually, yeah, I watched that match. I could have pulled him up there. I have missed a trick there. Known. I mean, yeah. you, you, you do bring a good point, though. His other results are last 64s four times and last 32 three times. 
Oh, so wow. So he's only gone past the last 32 once. Wow. Yeah. And when well, he, twice now, yeah. You think about the season in 2021 when he took down is it three, three, three titles year. and won the runner-up. Yeah, and won one last year as well. And the A didn't win last year, so. Yeah. Beat Ward in beat Ward in the final probably the craziest finish to a final ever in Ultimate yeah, Pool. Yeah, it was ace that one. It? it was incredible. Buzzer beater finish. Yeah. And well, Ward was on for a buzzer beater and oh, Chris Day. Nicely done. Wow, what a shot. Does this red sneak past the yellow? It looks very tight from that camera angle, Cole. You think there's plenty of room? Yeah, I think so. On, yeah. I think these. Yeah, this is the sort of one along these bottom right, the, along the short cushions, they do seem to play slightly bigger. Oh, he's played that really well anyway, so. Ooh. Is that a little bit? Yeah, he's a little bit in between. Because I think he plays it to the corner of the whites in the middle. I think he plays the cut. Is it in the yellow? And you just never know where the white's going. Looks like he's playing the cut the to cut. the middle, yeah. Ah, he yeah. did it well. Just yeah. had to judge the kiss yeah. off the yellow. I thought you could go in off the yellow, is my thinking, but you judged it well. Oh, Great Shane, break, wow, that is. Break. You know, I was just talking oh. to Shane before he went on, and he said to me, if well, I'd be all right if I could get yeah. one off the break. <laughs> <laughs> if the red goes past the yellow, he's got a quite an easy finish. If the red doesn't go past the yellow down the bottom of the table, he's a bit smelly. Oh, and the red and yellow together. I don't think the red goes. So I think he's got to pop the red over the pocket, touch onto the red. And then, yeah, this is an easy, actually. Oh, he's going yellow. Very easy on the eye. Shane's cue action. Mm, very good cue action. One of the few players that uses a full-size snooker tip. 10 mil. Yeah, Aren't crazy, there? isn't it? 10.3 or something, is it meant to be? Yeah, I think, I think it's just over 10. I think it's 10.2, I think. 10.2 or 10.3, I'm sure he was telling me. He's a Black purist Black. cure. Yeah. Right to the middle of the cue ball. It's the right way to play, but he's overdone that, you yeah, feel? I think he definitely did play on the other one first. Shot disaster, you can just stun this in, play the skilly. Then come back down. Oh, too far. That's no good. He's now got a bit of work. Yeah, just run on a little bit too much. Making the combination shot I, more I than possible, but can't get position on the one he wants to. I thought he was going to play the lot of turn there off the one on the rail and just park the white on the bottom cushion, but... He's got yeah, it. Good shot. He was worried for a moment, but it did always look like it was going to follow. Yeah. And now anywhere where he's going to point it, yeah. You're happy anywhere just past there, I think. It's going to naturally slide off two cushions towards the yellow as well, so this is a pretty natural shot. Wants to get quite close to the centre pocket. Yeah. Just to widen the angle. Ooh, coming he's up a little bit square on it, yeah. isn't he? Coming up the way he's come, it's just a little bit more thin, but thinner. He's a good potter, though. You do fancy him for this. I think it's, uh, he hasn't got to worry about the white, I think he naturally goes between the red and black as well. Um, oh. Oh, he's playing it with bottom inside, actually, so that'll be out there. No, he has played it. Oh, he's missed it by a long way. missed it. I was about to say, that's why a 10 oh, tip oh, comes in useful. Oh, and it's oh he's gone in off and he's left the big bag. Oh, that's painful. He's been doubly punished. Yeah. So, managing to free the top left-hand corner pocket straight away, Chris Day. Looking like he's going to double his lead, and Shane Thompson's going to have it all to do, even after just 10 minutes in this game. Big match for both players, like we said, a place in the semi-final at stake. Well, the quarter-final is underway. 2-0 to Ole Bale at the minute, against half on Dad. Had a good weekend, well, good event, number 10, Ole Bale. One of my favourite players to watch. Yeah, I uh, commentated on his last match and it was honestly one of the most berserk, crazy, he's crazy. I, I'm pretty chaotic on a pool table, but I think he's more mad than me. Just He said he came off and I said to him, 
said, you're mad, aren't you? He goes, you're like me, you're mad. And he went, he goes, he goes you know what? He goes, I'm just going to go back to how I used to play, just hitting everything 100 mile an hour and getting finishes. And I went, fair enough, it's working. <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely right. And uh, he's a generation above you. He was the first game I did on Thursday afternoon. Right. And, and it was noticed that we really did notice he was taking his time and trying to adopt playing, you know, with a little bit more focus. And I kept on saying, it's not a good thing and it wasn't and when the 15 seconds come in he sort of came into his own every time and I think he's a player that, like yourself that just needs to play at 100 mile an hour all the time yeah definitely don't change it if it ain't broken Cole. exactly exactly I think you might have a little bit of an issue with the clock here I think the so I think we can have a little pause whilst they sort that out but I think Shane will be not worried, it's only 2 now, but I think he'll know that he needs to get into the match very quickly. Miles are probably taking positives, he has had chances. And yeah. It's not like Chris is freezing him off the table at the moment. No, I think that's what I, I always say. I think if you've missed opportunities, even though it's annoying because you know you've missed chances, at least you're getting the opportunities to win frames. So I think that's the right way to look at it. You can always correct your errors if you get the opportunities. Chris now will know this is a big opportunity for him. Yeah, and this red goes past the yellow coal, but I don't think he can clip off it and free the pocket. So the one on the breaking line yeah, is a bit of an issue. Not only that, but the red that's nearest to us only passes into the left-hand pocket. So good position needed for that. So I think he's going to try and flick this in with loads of left. And it's just not going to take. It's not going to happen on this clock. Unfortunately, when it's so new, it's just not going to happen. Yeah, you're absolutely right. We've seen it time and time again. There is drawbacks to having such perfect conditions. Yeah, I think it's um, definitely something you have to adjust to when you go from playing in. I'm quite lucky. I've got a table in my friend's house with this cloth on. But it is a little, it's probably a month or so old a couple of months old now so it's started to play you know like a normal table again so it's yeah hard to come here and adjust and here we go Shane will need to take the chance well yeah it's very difficult to replicate and it's not as if you can get your friend's table recovered six times a year is it exactly just <laughs> so you can get it exactly the same no, exactly good news for Shane he is back at yeah. the table I think this first red clips into the center or he's got the one to the left corner as well yeah I think he's just gonna yeah he's just worried here if he plays a kiss up into the eight coal he's got to judge it correctly yeah he doesn't want to hit the right side if he hits the left side of it he's got no issues if he hits the right side of it he's could be in a bit of trouble so he's not even risk going into it yeah just using every inch of the pocket and not chance in a kiss be interested to see what he plays there. Can he, if, he, if he can float the gap, he's perfect. But if not, he can, I think he might have to stun into the black and leave it long. Yeah, like that. Yeah, he's still A1 here anyway. Good long yellow up into the corner. Just needs to leave a good angle. My last one on the top cushion. So you can just bring the cue ball back a little bit. Get it away from the side cushion as well. That looks just about perfect. Safe cracker looking good to get his first one on the board. Yeah, 
This is black, should be no issues. Chain to break as well, I believe. So, we'll be open to make a ball. Find himself at two each, as long as he gets his black and then makes the ball, I think. Yeah, uh, he said, didn't he? He said both of us about his brake not working, so I think right. that'll need to change. I think I find it so hard watching Shane because normally I'm playing against, practicing against him and he's mopping up for about the eighth time in a row. That might be why I have an issue <laughs> watching him. Oh, look at it. Yeah, he's struggling with his yeah. brake. Just the, uh, what's that, just five off the brake there? Something like that, yeah. yeah. Hitting it awful. <laughs> Great connection. Yeah. Lost the cue ball a little bit, if we're being particular, but he'll be happy. He's at the table. It's a great chance. Although Cole, I can see you with a very confused look why he didn't attack yellows, I'm yeah, guessing. I, I, but I think it was because the red was blocking the, the black to that pocket, I suppose. But yeah, he's fought. Oh, God. He's I'm not going to say he can't fail because you get proven wrong saying things like that, but it's a, a dream really can't split. Fail. <laughs> yeah, it's a dream split. Yeah, yeah literally, stun three balls in and you, you're out. So, definitely got one of the best tops in pool, in my opinion, Shane. I like it. Fear. Yeah, the no. the safe on the left hand side. Nah, cookie monster, danger mouse. Oh, actually, this one hasn't got the safe on the left hand side. I don't think. The, his other one's got safe cracker down the middle of his back, and this, there's a big safe on the left hand side of his top. I love it, but this one's slightly different. Oh, yeah, cookie monster's brilliant. Cookie monster, yeah, danger mouse. Danger Jimmy's mouse is pretty good as well. I love um, Tom's as well, Top Cat. Yeah, that's the, quite good, yeah. yeah. It's been a good a few good ones. I think it's been a good addition for Ultimate Pool. Yeah. Let the players sort of bring some of their character and personality to the game. And, you know, doing this, you know, so many times a year, I always try and get a bit of info from the players because I watch a lot of pool we want to hear about you. Yeah. People at home who don't know you, especially you, Cole, one of the biggest characters at Ultimate Pool. I'll take that as a big compliment, in my opinion. Absolutely. <laughs> Believe me, it's a good way to spend a couple of hours, even if you know the result. Chris Day with a perfect break. Yeah. He ball straight up the centre of the table. Didn't look the easiest of lies, though. No, I don't think he's got an easy starter. Well, I think he's got an easy starter, but I think he's got a cannon, a couple of balls on either set. So he's not... Yeah, oh yeah, it's not a nice layout. Yeah, problems. I was initially drawn to the reds. I think Chris might be as well. But yeah, both colour sets have issues. Problems to solve. I'm half nice. tempted to go yellow because you've got more balls on the table. Yeah, I knew you were going to say that just as you're queuing up for yellow. I just knew it. I just He's decided I neither the anyway. But yeah. I think <laughs> the reason I don't like reds is because... The red that is safe is very hard to see how you develop it off any of the balls on the table. Whereas with the yellows, I know you've got four in awkward positions, but I think when you've got more balls on the table, you've got more chance of taking control. Well, it's interesting, isn't it? Because Shane has seen reds as the way forward, and Chris had seen yellows. Yeah, I, th I assume he's going to... Oh, he's just knocking it out. Yeah, I like this. Ask a question. I'm a fan of that. Yeah, clear thinking. From Shane there. Put the pressure really does mount on Chris Day now, doesn't it? Yeah, I think he's got... I can't really see any safety. I think he's got a cross double. The yellow above the two yellows. I think he's got a cross double to the middle, maybe. Other than that, I can't really see a lot of safety options. I think you're going to leave him a shot no matter where you are. This is why I do like watching Paul. The best players. Has he got this? Second attempt? Not quite. I was about to say the best players of the foresight to just see two, three visits ahead. Yeah. And I'd like to guess that you didn't see that straight away. I certainly didn't, just nudging the red out. And he might not win in the frame here, but he's in control of the table and in control of the frame. Yeah, I think uh, 
it is a sort of shot I'd see, but I think I'm so attacking that I'm looking to get out is the issue. But I think, yeah, Shane is one of the best on the tour percentage-wise, I'd say. It's definite. You're just not happy if you have to go and play a shot and a ball doesn't go in a pocket, aren't you? Yeah, <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> That's why I quite like the loss of turn because I'm still potting a ball and I'm playing a safety. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that was very close. So Chris probably feared he wouldn't be coming back to the table. Why well, he's still very awkward, but... I, I've seen a crazy shot. I'm playing the double on the yellow next to the red to the middle to play the plant and trying to go into the two yellows on the side rail. That's the first shot I saw there. <laughs> which is a bit mental, but I think the yellow is right over the hole, so I don't think, I think it had to go in, but he's chosen the normal shot. <laughs> yeah, is he going to be eyeing up a plant? But if if he eyes up the plant and comes down to, you know, disturb the yellow, there's not too much advantage because he's not going to land, no guarantee of landing on anything. No. So it's very awkward at the moment. Could play m maybe short position. Still got to deal with the two yellows on the left-hand side, though, Cole. Yeah, I don't like... I don't know what the plan is here, I've got to be honest. I'm not going to try and call what he's going to do because I have no idea. Very, very good, Cole. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> Leave it honest. to me, I'll take the wrap. There we go. So he is going to come down the table. Oh, well, he's not. He's going to play this first and then come down. Has he got an option? Well, he's got. He could play one of two shots here, couldn't he? He could play on the two yellows to the left hand side, or the yellow at the bottom. I, I really have no idea what what he's. I, have, I think I'm he's going to sure. try and he's disturb. Go into it. Yeah. yeah. Had to get into the key, but he was taking a risk. Oh, he's chasing shadows here. I think personally, I think. Yeah. There's a. Uh, well, what will he leave if he just nudges these yellows? Not a lot. Maybe if he nudges them off, just clips off and then tries to get him back in behind. Or nestle up to the red. Yeah, nestling up to the red maybe was the target. And that's pretty good. Has he left one rail to pot, pot the red though? Has he left, like the... Yeah, the just, the just behind the yellow, yeah. you mean, on the bottom cushion? Yeah, I think he can... Oh, there we go, we've got benefit of an overhead yes yeah i think he yes, can I think it and, is he hasn't, and he hasn't covered the red so not the best shot from chris he knew he had to leave that so for me the priority should have been making sure he covered the uh red i will be honest though he was in a very tough spot chris day yeah he was wasn't easy and you always feel when a player's in that sort of spot you sort of have to attack don't you even if you don't think you're gonna get them You take your pick here. I think he'll play the one near the bulk line, but there's arguments for either of them because he's perfect on the one in the middle of the table to the top left. But yeah, he is going to play the one by the bulk and just screw back. See the cue action in full swing here. Brilliant cue action. It's just nice to watch, isn't it? It is. Perfect on the last red. Going to take the lead. The score's on the screen, Cole, don't worry. Yeah. I can see you getting confused. You yeah, have to doesn't trust. It doesn't you take a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Marion Jude in the crowd, women's world champion. What a fantastic player she is. Incre honestly, I haven't incredible. Ha we are going to be following the ladies' quarterfinals and onwards in the main event. I'm not so sure if she's in. I know Cole's rushing to um, check. Having a check, she was. She just she beat the last I looked. She beat Kirsty Davis. Um, five two, five three. Sorry, she's got Amy Bouchamp in the quarterfinal. Yeah. Champs needs to win that to go above Harriet Haynes in to number one. So that'll be a big match. Yeah, and how you out, I believe. She lost to Lindsay Roberts, yeah. who yeah. that's the game I've got. Uh, yeah, she plays. Four o'clock. Yeah, Sarah. Touch it. Yeah. 
glad you said her last name. <laughs> well, <laughs> Amy, as you just said before, I was convinced it was pronounced how you pronounce it, but apparently she's very happy with Beecham. Oh. Yeah, unbelievable. An easy mistake to make. Yeah. I've, always, I've so. always said Beauchamp, so... Well. Don't worry, I've got a few wrong in my time. Yeah. And Shane here now with the perfect break, looking like... For a man that's moaned about his break... Yeah, it's been perfect this yeah. far, hasn't it? Three breaks, and he's left three pretty easy finishes each one. So I think he wants to grow up a little bit. I surely <laughs> appreciate you saying that. Like I said, I think Shane, as much as I love him, does love to exaggerate a little bit. <laughs> Aren't all pool players. Yeah. Oh, that's a fair point, actually, thinking about it. More excuses than a pregnant nun. <laughs> yeah. It's plain sailing at the moment for Shane Thompson. He's definitely having a bit of run, but you've got to put them all away as well. 100%. Yeah, we can say they're simple, or you can. And there we are, 4 2. And he's feeling good. When he does, you know Shane's feeling good. When he pulls up and down his queue after he plays a shot, that's when you know he's feeling yeah. confident. Is that a little, uh, a little tell, is it? Yeah, 100%. That's when you know that he's let, in my opinion, that's him letting you know. You certainly know when he's uh, unhappy. And it was <laughs> interesting to get a towel up when he's happy. He'll be happy at the moment, though. 4-2 up in the race to seven. Chris has made a ball. He hit this really well again. Straight up and down, I think. Yep. Got to be happy with that. Ooh, you have to say, it might have been going very close to the cen mm. uh, centre pocket, but... It's on the table, that's all yeah. that matters. And the colour separation, very okay. good here. I think reds will be his pick because they've all got a pocket, whereas the yellow near the bulk line on the left-hand side of the table is... The, yeah, the left-hand side a bit further up from the bulk line. doesn't go anywhere, so... Yeah, and he's getting this one out of the way because it'll clear the path for the one on the cushion. Come back out for the one in the centre. Doesn't mind being as straight as possible. If he's got a little bit of angle, I'll have to play the cannon. Yeah, goal. just dink into it. This is one you should get right, but you do have to be careful that you don't over-hit it and push it into an area where it's a tough shot. I think he just wants to flick this up the rail, really. He's very good at these sorts of shots, Chris. That's okay. Yeah. Not perfect, but no. okay. He's got to play the one on, for me, the left-hand rail... On yeah, the left-hand rail in the bottom half of the table. Uh, yeah, bottom half of the table now. Float it in. Excellent. Yeah, he's got the bucket. gap as well. Perfect. Great shot. Very, very good. Now. Has he got a little bit of angle here? I was going to say he might be a little bit awkward, actually. Yeah, he, he just needs a bit of angle to sort of stun over towards the blue spot. If, if, I if mean, he's if got he can enough... Get further, yeah, but even better, one on the bulk line, yeah. It, it looks very straight, and playing them hard into the middle, never a good always, idea. No, always a risk, isn't there? There you go, just Ooh. over towards the blue spot. Ooh. Actually, he's gone just a little bit too far, Cole. He's gone in between that. He's half played. I think he's half played for the one on the bulk line and half made sure that it hasn't popped out and landed in the middle of the two, which is the worst place on the table, That's really. Your mind. I think he's just going to have to. Can he stun off the side cushion or is he just going to have to roll this in and take his medicine? I'm not sure. He needs a lot of power to get back over. Yeah, it's always a shot. what a shot, Chris Day. That is excellent. Really, really good. I can see you screaming, saying he didn't play the gap, but he did, Cole. <laughs> of course he played we, the we'll, gap. We'll give him the benefit of doubt. Absolutely, we will. And now he needs to just pop this red, come backwards and find the gap. This is one you can't do it so long because you're in beyond the yellow. Ah, brilliant Perfect. shot. Really good finish. Under pressure as well. Going 2 0 up to 4 2 down. It's a big finish. Chris Day back with him one. Even impressed the cruelest of critics, Cole Bedford. 
I reckon Shane is asked what the score was with Ole and Arthur. Ah, yes, that is five feet. Very good, Cole. I'm good, ain't I? Very, I reckon because Chris good. looked left, I was just assuming he's looking at the score and telling Shane what the score was. Bit, bit. Preemptive, that isn't yeah, it? Yeah, from Shane. Is that a bit of a mind is game? Is that a bit of a nickel? Like who've I got in the next round? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> we might be creating drama out of nothing here, but that does seem a little bit cheeky, I think. Yeah. And oh look, Shane's fourth break, and he's left rolling for the fourth <laughs> time. <laughs> it's a cool. <laughs> it's a good opportunity. I can tell you actually, over on the uh, the other quarter final, Oli Bailey's six three up against half on that. Yeah, just made it six three. Yeah. Lewis Roberts in his commentary position, loving it. I can see by the smile on his face. Oh, he's very good, Lewis. Very, very good. Yeah. The tenth best cue maker in the country, I've heard. <sighs> cruel. <laughs> very cruel today. <laughs> cruel to be cry. Cruel to be kind. Cruel. Cruel. Oh God, I can't talk. Cruel to be cry. <laughs> Kind, <laughs> as they say, <laughs> God. Honestly, cold. Fifth attempt I got there. <laughs> well, Shane here with a good chance now to make it 5-3. Been a really good match, actually. It's been high quality. Ooh. Look at <laughs> this, though. That is a poor mistake. And now he's really awkward because getting wow. off... If he has to play, come off the cushion first and pop the yellow over the pocket... How did he get on the black off the other yellow? Yeah, absolutely. I think he's got to play the double and stun into the red near the bottom right pocket. Personally. Maybe drop it playing ball actually to hit the red. Yeah, and he had quite a bit more margin for error. It's a surprising mistake from Shane. I, I actually don't know. I'm not sure whether he played for it in the middle or played for it in the corner because of how poorly he played it. Is this going to the middle? Is he, is or is it a double? I, I thought he was playing a double. Yeah, it is double. a double. He's got it. He's got it if it gets there. It has got there. This is really awkward. Can he not check this up? Not to right hand side? Play the not pin? Not, not from there, no? Me. Not for me on the... Not on this. the balls and the cloth. On I think the sail. I too much, yeah. You could play it on your one month old cloth at yeah, home. Yeah, exactly. Not this one. No. Okay. When oh, well he is playing it. He <laughs> is playing it, but are you going to be proved proved right? Oh, oh, no. oh, you, you are right, it did he, slide, he, didn't he it? He played that with the maximum amount of side and he still hit the red. So if he hits that red full, he's on nothing. But it's a great shot and that will, will be 5-3. Recovered the situation well there, Shane. Yeah, one of the few times he probably wishes he did have a smaller tip. But the 10 mil or 10.3. Yeah, I, this, I can say... The the hotel chairs are very comfy. I found out in my match. <laughs> Did you come to the table? Uh, Did you get shot in open play, I mean? I didn't see the game. Yeah, one, I missed a bad red to the corner. I think it was 5-0, but I sort of... I hadn't given up, but that was literally the first ball I hit in open play other than a break, so I was a bit... <laughs> yeah, it's tough out there Yeah. when I you're in that spot. Yeah, I think I've hit... I remember hitting it, and I just knew as soon as I hit it, I'd missed it, and I was like, ah... Oh. That's uh, that's the end of that then. <laughs> Un unfortunately though, Cole, um, it's probably something you'll have to get used to because it's probably not the last time it'll happen. Oh no, five enough. in a row is commonplace for a lot of players out there. Yeah, it's um, it, which like is two said, dry breaks. And like I said, uh, I put a little post up because it's the end of the year, and I said uh, with Chris, in my opinion, he's one of the Mount Rushmores of pool. So it's sort of I've beat him, beat him twice this year, and I think he is sort of. I knew he'd be right up for it because I'd beat him last time and I think he uh, well and truly brought me back down to earth. Yeah, the legend <laughs> slayer got slayed by a legend. Yeah, correct. <laughs> yeah, I think Chris has still got... He's one of the few players that's still got a little bit of a fear factor. Not many of the players at Ultimate Pool fear each other. None of them will ever admit it. No. But I think Chris, just with his longevity, his style... And like you said, it was a, yeah. a good analogy, a Mount Rushmore of pool. Yeah, I think... It is a, bit, a little bit intimidating. Isn't yeah, it? I, I don't think... Me personally, I think it's not something... If anything, I actually feel like I always play better against them. But I think I can see why other people... I'm very co I think I'm very confident, though, so I think that helps, whereas I think that you can see why other people would be intimidated playing. Yeah, him. I certainly wouldn't be using you as an... Ad uh, 
you know, an example. No. Certainly not. The scalps you've taken since you've been at Ultimate Pool have yeah. been nothing short of but fantastic. Enough about you, though. I think to concentrate on Shane and Chris yeah. Day. Last 16 minutes of this match. He thought, I'm pretty sure he thought he missed that because he stayed down. Yeah, and he's going to have to deal with the red next to the eight. And I don't think he can do it now. I don't think he goes to the centre. There we go, I he's playing he's the outside. Try, try and make it as his last ball, I think. Oh, he didn't intend the kiss on the yellow, but it's is not he got doing too much harm. Has he got a free shot here to roll? Uh, no, I don't like it. Roll into the black and then you can play the red above the two yellows and leave it to the middle, but it's a tough low percentage again. I think he'd like more angle on this red to just come across towards the eight. Okay, yeah, he's just, just telling us his plan. Always helps. Thank you, Shane. I think anywhere in the middle of the... T he'd be happy where, where the red is. He'd love to be there. Yeah, I think Slightly to the left of that. Looks to have been straight, but now he's got to use the side... Cu well, use the top cushion. This oh, looks a little bit pacey hard. to me. Way too hard. Well... I think he's ended up on it, though. I think he has. And if he's not, Tough. I think he can turn it in with a little bit of side. And I think he's landed perfect. It looked, looked very patey at first, I thought. Nothing to do with the cue ball. He can just rest on that yellow. However, pushing that red, sorry, pushing the yellow over the right centre caused him a bit of a problem now, hasn't it? Yeah. Because if he's off straight here, getting on to the eight isn't as simple as no, it could have been. Do you know, I do find these middles, if you hit them slightly at pace, they do tend to, it only takes to catch that in the middle of the bag. Oh, sort of well, he had a lot more angle than I thought. Yeah. Great and, shot. Uh, fantastic cue in once again. Shane Thompson's going to go up onto the hill. He'll need just one more. Over on the other table. Oh, and Dad has pulled one back. It was a Sunday, I'm sure. It was a Sunday. And Shane with another ball I, off the break. I concede <laughs> you got it spot on. It was the last event of last year. Very good, Cole. Yes. Very good. I thought it was, because I remember, I think... Event I number eight. Obviously, this year we've had ten. I went home on the Saturday because I lost on the Saturday in the uh, Challenger. And... Um, Drove home and it absolutely hammered down the snow. Like, I mean, hammered down. It took me, s normally takes me three hours to get home. It took me six and a half. If it takes me that long today, I'll cry. <laughs> Shane with a chance straight away to close this match out. Looking to get on the problem ball straight away. Not sure if he's made it for the one on the left hand side. It's not end of break though. It's got one up into the top left hand corner. Mm. He's now digging though, isn't he, a little bit. He's got to try and dig his way out the hole. He's got a path around the back of these reds, come back out between the two reds and... Well, he's going to screw it. This is the thing with these cloths, you see, he can just grip so much. That, you see, that shot on most tables just isn't on, no, is it? No. You'd have to go forwards with a bit of yes, right-hand side definitely. and come through the gap. But, I mean, he's gone so close to the red, but he, like you've mentioned a couple of times, Cole, he's feeling good yeah. and he's in control and that shows it because a kiss on the red could have done... Serious damage. I, it looks like I don't, it might be wrong, but it looks like it might be a plant. To the if he'd landed on the side rail, it looks yeah. like it might have been a plant to the bottom Possible. left. I don't think he. I don't think he'd looked at that at all. Overhead it camera would have showed us that. I think. Yeah. There you oh go. no! No, it's a, no, I don't, no, it's I don't, a little bit off, isn't it? Yeah. So is he going to leave the one at the bottom of the table till his last ball now? And yeah, there's oh, your answer. Shame. I think that was a l maybe a little bit unnecessary, I don't know, it, if I'm being critical. He's now relying on a very, very good shot, because he's got to dig it. This is, he's playing diagonally across the table and he's got to dig it with right hand side, so this is a very tough shot. Yeah, I'm going to stay here for this. I mean, he's fortunate to be on it, I suppose. Great queuing. And he's got oh, sight he's of this red. He's actually plumbed a stun into the, in my opinion, stun into the, or has he got too much angle to screw into the, no yeah, he's got too much angle, I thought he was 
perfect to screw into the yellow and leave the double, but I'm not sure he is actually. Yeah, he's digging here. He's really digging. Will he find a way out? No, yeah. Take your medicine. Yeah, he could leave yeah. the double. He could leave the double. That yellow's not blocking the path for the eight ball. He so this double this. for a place in the semi-final for Shane Thompson. It's there, and he's relieved. <laughs> I don't think he thought it was in, but it is there. He's booked his place in the semi-final. I believe he's going to play Ole Bale. Didn't see the end of that yeah. match, but I'm, he was 6-4, wasn't he? That's his semi-final lineup complete. It is Carlo Donnelly and Chris Mellon.